All right, today, ladies and gents, we're going to tell you how, show you how to create a, a 3D logo. I was asked to how to create a specifically a, a, a very specific 3D logo, one that looked more like an S than an E, like this one here, but the uh, the concepts are the exact same. Um, so uh, the first thing I want to do is analyze the parts, right? Uh, let me zoom into one of these and uh, whoop. sorry about that. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that there are a few different parts to this, okay? Um, there is this outer silver shape, right? Um, which is basically a circle with some uh, holes cut out of it. Uh, there are, there's this background shape here, this, uh, this blue circle right here, which all that is is a, is a blue circle. Um, there are these shapes here, this, uh, this little sliver that shows the uh, um, kind of the, the 3D uh, slice of the, of the silver shape. Um, and then there are the various highlights, um, which is, here's one right here, here's another one here, uh, and then there's another one here, which you can probably see right along this edge, probably the easiest to see. Then there's this, uh, this drop shadow, or floor shadow actually, and um, then there's the reflection. Okay, so we have a few different uh, shapes that we're going to try and recreate, and uh, let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my perfect circle. Now I've got some uh, some crosshairs already uh, uh, up here, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a circle. Now I've got mine set to uh, to radius creation. You can set yours to whatever you want, uh, but uh, anyway, it you get a perfect circle uh, quite easily this way, and you can start from the center and, and drag out. Now, I am going to go ahead and clone this uh, a couple of times. And the first one I'm going to, let's give them a couple of different colors. We'll make the first one green, I'm going to clone it, make the second one blue, clone it, and I'm going to make the top one uh, kind of 50% black. Now the top one, I'm going to go ahead and give it a circular fill right away. Uh, that gives me the highlight that's, uh, that's showing the light coming right at the center and getting darker out to the sides. All right, next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a couple of more shapes. Oops, I don't want that. I'm going to switch to uh, bounce creation, and I'm going to create um, some ellipses here, or just one ellipse, actually. And now uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of match this up. I'm going to go ahead and change its color and replace all colors here. And I want to look at what it is I'm trying to, uh, to to cut out, right? So I want to cut out something maybe along these lines, maybe a little bit bigger, something like that. Uh, that looks about right to me. Um, now the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this a couple times. So let me give, that one's already black. Let me clone it and make it I don't know, blue and uh, clone it one more time and make it green or something like that. Um, the reason I do that is because I'm going to need a, a few of these. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to select all of these and cant them. Yeah, that's the way I want this to kind of to look. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top one and I'm going to move my cursor over to this um, right center uh, bounds uh, um, node right there until I get this up and down arrow like that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shift, shift one side of it down while the other remains in the same place. And now I'm going to take the two colored ones, the green and the blue. So I've got the green already highlighted. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the blue. Now I've got two ellipses selected, right? And then I'm going to go down here to this uh, uh, subtract shapes. You can also go to arrange, combine shapes, subtract shapes. Yeah. And that gives me this, uh, leaves me with this blue edge right here. And if I hold down the shift key and tab up a few times, you can see that's a, that's a separate shape, yeah? All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clone, nope, 
that's that's perfect. I'm going to take uh, this shape. Actually, I'm going to take both shapes. Press Control K. Flip them vertically, and move this down until it's approximately equidistant from uh, uh, the center line here. Yeah. Now I'm going to take the black shape, hold down the shift key and click on the center shape and press again this subtract shape. Now this is, looks a little bit funny but don't worry about that for right now. Um, I'll, I'll fix that in a minute. I'm going to do the same here. The exact same. I'm going to uh, select the two shapes and subtract shapes. These are still individual shapes, right? They're not, not anything special there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this one and take both blue shapes, select them both, and do, um, here it is, intersect shapes. And now you see that I get just that piece. Right? And I'm going to do this same here with this green one and intersect shapes. And there we go. Now I've got my two pieces right from our original image. If I go back here, I've got these pieces here, that one and this one. Now you'll notice that this uh, looks a little bit different. If you'll notice here, I've got this coming in and here it's still going out but we'll fix that in just a minute, okay? Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna zoom in to my shape, my sliver here, choose my uh, shape editor tool, and I'm going to go ahead and line this up as much as I can till it's about even there, and I'm gonna go, matter of fact, I can draw another one of these uh, these guidelines here to show me exactly where even is. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and press over once. That's going to nudge it exactly 10 times. Now I need to just straighten up my nodes here so that they're kind of pointing towards each other. And that looks fairly good. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to move in my node here. And oh look, they're slightly off, but that's OK. There we are. getting that to line up exactly perfectly, but you get kind of get the drift of what I'm looking to do here. Just going to point those two nodes more or less at each other, and that looks relatively good. Yeah? All right. I can right-click on that guideline and delete it, and I'm going to zoom back out to the page. Now, I'm going to zoom back in a little bit closer. I want to make sure I've got this and this in here. And I'm going to go back to my radius uh, um, ellipse, right? I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move it out until my ellipse touches that bottom corner, okay? And then I'm gonna, with it selected, I'm gonna press Control B to send it to the back. And then I can get down really close and make sure that it's, uh, that it's exactly where it's supposed to be. And it's, it's close, but not, not exactly perfect. Let's change that to a different color so we can see it. That's actually pretty darn good. This is really pretty close, not 100% not perfect, but uh, from a distance you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm going to just go ahead and zoom back out to the page. And there we go. So now I'm going to give this uh, a 
circular fill. I've got the blue shape uh, selected, by the way. You give it a circular fill, the center shape. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use these theme colors, by the way, uh, because they're they're uh, um, they're linked. Yeah. Uh, I so I use the the brightest color for the for the center, which is this pink color here. Well, I meant to anyway. Uh, and then uh, tab out to the to the far end, and I'm going to use either that one or that one. no. Yeah, let's leave it that. I'm going to use the darkest color. Uh, now I need to make sure that I do something similar here. I'm going to give this this red color and give it a also a circular fill. Make sure that my my uh, um, center of my circular fill is on the, uh, the shape. Yeah. And maybe tuck that in a bit. And then I'm going to, with that selected, press Control C to copy it. And I go down to the bottom uh, wedge shape there and press Control Shift A to copy its attributes across. And then I need to make sure that it's gone from circular to elliptical, change it back to circular, and drag that. Uh, Drag that circular fill down onto uh, this uh, this shape here. All right, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, the next thing I needed to do was uh, and see I, I knew I was going to need these and I didn't have keep enough copies, so I'm going to go ahead and draw another one of these ellipticals right here. This looks pretty good. I'm just using my my eyes to, to match this up, kind of. Maybe a little bit, extend that out a little bit more. Uh, and I'm going to change this to white. I don't want the whole thing white. Just change it to a flat fill. Alrighty, and then uh, because this is going to be a highlight, I'm going to go ahead and trim up its edges a little bit and give it a linear transparency. So I'm going to grab the transparency tool and just go out across like so. And because of how I want this to look, I'm going to give it, the, the with the starting node selected, I'm going to give it a, maybe a 20% a, a transparency starting off. Maybe, maybe more. Let's try 40. That doesn't look too bad. All right, now I'm going to just press Control K to clone that, move it down till it's more or less over what I where I need it. Flip it horizontally. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do some adjustments now until I get it to where I want it. Um, I want more of it showing up um, right along this edge and less showing up along the bottom edge, right? So as close as I can get to the to the center, um, I may need to adjust this just a touch more. But you can play around with it and get it exactly how you like it. All right. And then the last bit would be to create that uh, that highlight over on on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clone the shape. So I've got another one on top of it. Uh, I'm going to use my yep my contour tool and shrink that down till I get have a shape that looks something like that um, and sorry for my contour I want one and I want it to insert path. There we go. And I'm going to make it white. Replace all colors. Move it back over the top of it. And then I'm going to give it a bit of a of a uh, feather and give it an elliptical or a linear transparency, excuse me. 
So here we're going to leave it at 100%. Uh, at this end, we're going to nudge it a bit. And there's more or less your 3D shape. Um, next thing I need to do is create a, um, a black ellipse. Give it an elliptical transparency. That's going to be my shadow. Move the darkest point to right underneath that, uh, that particular shape. Press Control B to send it to back. Line it up. Nudge here or there to get it exactly how I want it. And there I have my 3D shape with its shadow. Pretty easy so far, right? Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control A to grab it all, and I'm going to just move its size uh, a little bit smaller, make it make it a bit smaller. Press Control A again. Pull down the Shift key to uh, to create this plus or minus sign with the cursor. I'm going to deselect the shadow, so I've just got the the shape. I'm going to go ahead and press Control K to clone it. Invert, right, flip it horizontally, or vertically, excuse me, uh, and move that down till it's a few pixels away from from the shadow. And then I'm going to actually I'm going to group that first. Control G to group it, and then add one last linear transparency. Here we'll go with maybe a 10% starting transparency, and there you go. Now you can take Control A and group the whole thing, and there's my there's my shape, there's my um, my my logo. And because I've used um, named colors, if I go ahead and drag uh, the main named color, theme color one, into this and uh, drag it across um, all the uh, the colors that I've used. Uh, change with it. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I know that took a long time and I'm sorry, but uh, it was you know, slightly complicated. Um, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, everybody got all the steps. I uh, hope you found that interesting and useful and we'll come back and see us again next time.